Hi, this will be a video to continue from the last set of videos. And what I'd like to talk about here is making a uh, custom UI view that we can display from Storyboard. And the goal of the next few videos in this series will be to create a custom uh, UI, you know, our user interface control element, okay? And what I'm gonna do is continue talking about the uh, the control that we made in the last video, that which is kind of more of an experiment. It wasn't really complete, right? Um, let's test it out right here. So here it is, right? We've got the, uh, the slider here and it kind of draws this arc. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to turn this into a, sort of a meter or a volume control or something, you know, where um, someone could swipe up or down with their finger to set the thing here rather than um, you know, dragging a slider across, right? And maybe it'll have a number in the middle to show the value, okay? Um, but what I'd like to do first is, is get this one to display in Storyboard. So as it is now, um, in the last video, we created a class called Circle Path, and the Circle Path class, here it is right here, Circle Path, right? You can see it extends the UI View class. This is the subclass, right? Or our, or our, our super class, actually, right? Um, and uh, what we do is we, um, or what we did is in the View Controller here, we created an instance of Circle Path, right? And then we set the rectangle and then we added it as a subview, right? Now, um, it's perfectly okay to create views this way in code. Um, but a lot of times in what you're doing when you're building your apps is you're building them by dragging components out of the library here right, out of the object palette and placing them on the you know in the view here in storyboard like we did with the uh, with the slider right so what I'd like to do I mean to make if we're gonna make a component that people can reuse it would be really cool if we could um, you know drag our component into the library here or create it you know, in storyboard, right? And then we could size it and configure it here in storyboard and then, you know, link it to our view controller the way that we do with these other controls, right? So let's let's give that a try. So, you know, looking at um, circle view again, or circle path view, right? It's a, it's a subclass of UI view, okay? So that means that if we, um, if we go to storyboard and we find the UI view object here this is it's a view object it's a, it's ui view is its class if we create one of these and we drag it onto this to this the the or into the view controller here this really is one of one of these right so if circle path um subclasses ui view it's also one of these okay so that means that if we create one of these like this i'll put it here and then what I'll do is I'm going to set the background of the main um, view controller here just so we can see this white box, right? So I'm going to make this kind of a darker gray like that, right? Now we can see this white box here. Um, so if this guy is a, is a UI view, if we select it and then go to the, um, the identity inspector, the little newspaper here, um, you can see that it says custom class at the top. What we can do is we can type in circle path into the custom class. I know that's a little small there to see, but but uh, you know if you just start typing circle path, it'll show up there. So now this view right here is a circle path. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. And then we can move it around and position it and size it, you know, in storyboard, right? Okay. So we need to make a couple changes here to make this work, right? So one, um, if I go to view controller, since we're creating our thing in storyboard, we'll want to get rid of all this, right? Because this is what creates it in code, but we're not going to do that. We're going to create it in storyboard, right? And then we've got another problem. We'll have a few things to fix, but we've got this other problem here is now that we've deleted that, um, our slider isn't going to do anything. So um, let's get rid of the code there. And then actually, you know, we don't need this thing either because we're actually not creating this guy. We're going to make him an IB outlet. That'll be a circle path instance, right? So I'll just delete that. And then let's give our, our thing a test. And it's going to fail the first time. And then we'll talk about why and how we can fix it, right? So, uh, so here we are. And I test. And 
wait, and nothing happens. Wait, hold on, I made a mistake there. It's supposed to, it's supposed to die. Let's see, wait, let me go back here. Yeah, I got circle path there. Um, where's circle path here? Yeah, he should have, he should have exited there. Uh, let me try that one more time. You know, whenever you want things to go wrong, they never go wrong. But if you don't want them to go wrong, you know, they go wrong all the time. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Why did it why did it not crash that other I don't know, right? Anyway, um looking at the 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 console here, you'll see an error down here that says fatal error. In it coder has not been implemented. And then it says file, you know, users make school documents, uh Bezier path, circle path dot swift. So this error occurred in circle path dot swift. Oh, on line seventy eight, right? So it tells us exactly what happened, right? So if I go to circle path and I examine line number 78, you know, I don't have the line numbers turned on, but you know, this little red arrow is pointing right to the error, right? What we can see is it says, in it with coder has not been implemented, which is exactly the message that we have here, right? And then it says fatal error. So we called the fatal error method and it crashed our program for us and printed this message on line 78, right? Um, so why do we have a piece of code that says fatal error, right? Like why do we have why are we you know creating a fatal error here? Well, if you recall, and you can go back and review this in one of the previous videos, right? When we wrote the code for this, we let Xcode write this default initializer, which is in it with coder. And um, so it puts this in here because you need to implement this if you're gonna use in it with coder. And if you haven't implemented it, then you know, they think it's a good idea that you um, have a fatal error here and crash your program, right? You know, just so you know that there's a problem here, right? Okay, so why do we have init with coder? So we used init with frame, and when we initialized this view in code, we initialized it with a frame. So we called this initializer and passed in the frame that we, you know, what size and position it should be, right? When we initialize from storyboard, we're not setting the frame. But what we are doing is we're drawing the, the, the frame visually and storyboard keeps the frame information like the position and the width and the height, right? And the background color and some other properties, it keeps all that stuff for us, right? And so what happens is when storyboard unarchives or, you know, unwraps all the information that's, you know, contained here in this, in this view controller and storyboard here, what it does is it initializes all the objects that are that are here in the storyboard um, by calling their init with coder method. Okay, so that means that if we want to initialize anything from storyboard, we got to do it here. Okay, so let's do that. Right. So what we'll do, and you can set up any. Um, I'm going to stop the simulator there, and so you can do this with any class you create that you want to you know, initialize from storyboard, right? So what we'll do is we'll delete that fatal error because we don't want to do that anymore. And we'll say init with coder or super dot init with coder, right? Because we always got to call our super class and then we'll put in a decoder here. So this variable right here is an NS coder object. And this actually has all the data from storyboard that describes how that view should get initialized, like the frame and and the background color and stuff, right? So we're gonna pass that to our super view or our super class, and it's gonna actually, you know, decode it and set up our, our object, okay? Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to set up the object here, right? So when we set up our object previously, what we did is we set it up by writing all of this code here in init with frame. But what we wanna do now is we wanna do all of this you know, you know, down, you know, down to here. We want to do all of that inside here also. And so that's kind of a problem. Like we don't want to duplicate all this code and have it in two places because if we have to edit it, then we have to edit in two places, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, copy all of the code except for super here. We're going to cut all of this out of init with frame. Okay, so now we have, you can see the two initializers here, right? Um, in it with frame and in it with coder. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another function down here. We'll say func 
setup like this. And I'm going to paste all of that code that I just copied or just cut out of the original in it with frame. And I'm going to paste it into setup. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll call setup from in it with frame. And then we'll also call setup from in it with coder, right? So now, you know, if you in it this way with a frame, then we'll call setup and draw our object. And if you in it with coder, we can call setup and uh, it'll also initialize our object. Okay, so let's give that a try. So we'll, we'll test it now. And there we are. Oh, look, and then it kind of works. Now this, remember, we disabled the, um, the um, slider here, but we could re-enable it. But you can see now it draws our object in there just like it did before, right? So now if we want to use the slider, I'm going to option click on storyboard to open up the assistant editor. And what I'm going to do is go switch the main view to uh, view controller, right? So I'm in view controller here. And what I'll do is I'll make an IB outlet to this view. So I'll control click and drag in here just like you would normally, right? And I'll call it like circle path, right? Lowercase, right? So, you know, and then uh, you can see that, um, you know, it gives me an IB outlet there. And then you can see it's type circle path, right? So now if I want the slider connected, I'll do lowercase circle path dot value equals sender dot value. Okay, so now we can connect our, you know, UI slider to our circle path that we created, right? From storyboard. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now everything's back to normal, but this time we've initialized from storyboard. Okay. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that that was informative and uh, um, thanks again. And I'll add a couple more videos so we will continue with this over the next couple videos. Okay.